bike packing is absolutely brilliant. Using your bike to carry all your gear and head out on a voyage of discovery. For a day or a week, or even if you're going on a month long adventure, you're probably gonna need to take a fair bit of equipment with you and even find somewhere to spend the night. You don't need to break the bank to enjoy bike packing. Yes, you could invest in all the stuff, but if you're looking to try it out for the first time, or maybe you're on a strict budget, there are plenty of wallet friendly ways to allow you to enjoy the beautiful pursuit of bikepacking. And in this video, we're gonna list a few of them. Ha ha! Of course, first up, you could head out the door with a rucksack, load it with stuff, and you'll have a great time, but there are a few disadvantages to that. Mainly that you're carrying all that weight on your back. So if things get hot, with plenty of climbs, it's gonna be hard work. And over a multi-day trip, that's gonna add up to a lot of fatigue. If you can carry things on your bike, you'll save yourself that fatigue. It'll be a lot easier. And in this video, we're gonna talk you through a few ways that are a little bit cheeky that you can attach all your items to your bike and let your steed take the weight. All right, next up, attaching stuff to your bike. And you're gonna need some sort of strap or cord to do so. And in bike packing, you're gonna need to take a lot of stuff and you're basically gonna have to strap it all on your bike. So I thought I'd start with some quite affordable options. So these kind of straps or cords, they are super cheap, they're about three, four pound or dollars and they are reusable, they're secure and they're reliable. And then you've got a little bit more of a pricey option, which is kind of like a rubber version. And I think a lot of skiers might be familiar with these. Bivy bags are a great option if you want to bike pack cheaply and lightly and especially if you want to spend the night under the stars, they are a great alternative to a tent. And also, if you kind of want to leave no trace that you've been there, they are also a great option for that too. Booby bags are great for keeping you dry as they're waterproof, but the only downside to them are that they don't leave much room for all your gear or somewhere to cook your food or get changed but that's why it's a good idea to pet a bivy bag with a tarp. Now one of the best ways to carry a bivy bag even though they're pretty small and light but when you are quite limited on space this is a great option basically wrapping it around the top tube and then securing it with a strap. It's out of the way it's not limiting any of the cables or anything it's nice and neat and secure right there and that is not going anywhere so that is a great option if you're a little bit tight on space you can carry a good amount of volume and stuff on your handlebars like you see in front of me here using the straps that manon described what i like to do is get a cheap dry bag pack it with stuff whatever you like to carry a bit clothes i personally like to take my sleeping bag and my mat here so roll the sleeping bag in your mat, put it in the dry bag to protect it from the elements, then use your straps to tightly wrap it to your handlebars. You get a really easy way to carry quite a lot of stuff that will see you through the night. Another little nifty trick you can employ with this sort of setup is getting a sandwich bag, putting your phone inside and using the straps around the sandwich bag so it's nice and tight, it's not going anywhere. Phone inside so it's waterproof and you can use your maps, any sort of navigation apps that you use. I've got Kamut here and I can follow my route, know where I'm going and uh, it's right there where I need it to be. Pretty handy. Another good option with the dry bag and the strap combo is using it as a sort of saddle bag. So you clip the dry bag just on here and you use the straps to tie it to your saddle. It stays nice and firm in place. You can fit quite a lot in there. Good tip though that I would suggest if you are doing this on the saddle or the handlebags, which I described earlier, is to get some frame protector tape and just put it where you think the bag's gonna rub on your bike. Because when you look at it now, it might not look as if it's gonna move around too much, but over the course of a long ride, a long few days of riding, it's gonna build up, you're gonna rub away at your frame. So definitely get some frame protector there where there is contact with the bike. Now next up, Gorilla Tape. This can be your best friend when bikepacking. It can pretty much temporarily fix 
anything when you're on the go and it is always handy to have. Now, if you don't want to take the whole roll with you, a little trick, you can just take some off and wrap it around your pump. Then you've got Gorilla Tape on the go. Now, trust me, you never know when you're gonna need this and it can fix anything from mats to things on your bike to, I don't know, keeping your pot noodle pot together, anything. If you don't want to wild camp or camp out under the stars, it's not for everyone. I love it, but I can understand why you at home might not. But there are plenty of places where you can stay with a roof over your head. So do check out things like couch surfing or warm showers, which actually are people who bike pack themselves and they offer free accommodation, which you can you know, stay with someone. You learn about their bike packing experience. You make friends along your route. And it's a great way, I think, of creating a bike packing community. And it's something that you can really tap into. If you do use the likes of warm showers though, I would suggest that you yourself invite people into your homes who are staying on such trips too, because it is, it is a nice way of sharing your experience. Kamut also do a great job of highlighting specific areas on a route that you might choose so that you can map out where you can potentially stay and not have to get stuck under a pretty fierce downpour under a hedge. Of course, there are bike packing bags out there designed specifically for the job like this one that basically attaches where your saddlebag goes and you can fit a load of stuff in there. Now, there are a lot cheaper options from um, like chain supermarkets have done some recently, which have been really cheap. So definitely keep your eyes peeled. But the advantages of these are that they are waterproof and they're a lot more easily accessible to your stuff when you're on the go. You can just kind of whip it open, get your hands in, grab stuff rather than and around with the bike so yeah another great option so those are some of our top tips on how to bike pack on a budget but if you have any of your own little tips or tricks on how to do things when you're bike packing leave them down in the comment section below yeah definitely let us know where you're thinking of planning on riding to where you're thinking of bike packing to always love to hear your suggestions down in the comment section below and if you did find this video useful please remember to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel and as always Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video. See you in the next Man, one. Here's your sleeping bag. Oh, you no, no, bed. Connor, I'm um, going back home. No, you're, you're, you're no I'm home. sleeping in my own bed with a nice duvet and a mattress and a nice silk pillowcase. I'm running through it. Well, no, you're not. <laughs> not in the budget. <laughs>